Hello children, I am your teacher from grade 4 of Vidro College and today you are going to learn a new lesson called water. So we are going to learn samples of water, water evaporation, ice cubes, solid form of water, importance of water, water pollution and methods of cleaning water. Water is a natural resource. We use water for many purposes such as bathing, washing, drinking and cooking etc. It is important to protect the cleanliness of the water as it is one of the most important resources in the world. We get water for our daily use in different ways. Some of them are from rivers, lakes, streams, ponds, wells, artisan wells and taps. Let's observe different samples of water which are taken from different sources. Can you see the samples A, B and C? Glass A contains muddy water. What is the color of the water in it? Yes, since the water is unclean, it looks brown and muddy. And it has a bad stagnant smell. Can you guess what's in the glass B? It is water with mulch. It looks unclean, isn't it? That's because of dry leaves and sticks. It also smells bad. Then, finally the glass C. It's water from a tap or a well. That is why it looks clean and it doesn't have a smell. Now we are going to see how water is evaporated. So we are going to do an experiment. You can do this experiment with your parents at home. To do this experiment, you need a candle, a spoon and some water. All you have to do is to take water into the spoon and heat it. Then after few minutes, water on the spoon boils and water level decreases. Eventually, water evaporates within few minutes. Okay, so what can we understand from this experiment? When we increase the temperature, that means when we heat the water, what happened? Yes, the water evaporated. So you can conclude that water evaporates when the temperature gets high. Let's see how to get water back from the steam state or water vapor. If you place a plate towards the steam in the kettle, you will see water vapor when water boils and the water vapor settles on the plate as water again. So when we let steam to cool, it becomes water again. We use water vapor or steam for various purposes. Some of them are to steam food such as peat to string hoppers etc. To steam endemic medicinal plants used in steam engines, in trains or steamboats. Aren't you curious what happens to ice cubes in different instances? Let's do another experiment to see what happens. We need three vessels of equal size, some ice cubes, some normal water and some boiling water. You need to keep the ice cubes in three vessels. One vessel should be empty and fill the other two vessels equally, one with normal water and the other with boiled water. So what happens in the first vessel? The ice cubes melted slowly and turned into water. Then in the second vessel with normal water, the ice cubes floated on the water 
and the water level increased as the ice melted. And in the vessel with boiled water, ice cubes melted quickly. The water level went up. So which one melted first? And second? Third? Did you notice something about the temperature of the water of the vessels? Yes, in the first vessel, with just ice cubes, the temperature is low. So it melted slowly. In the second vessel, the temperature is slightly higher than the earlier. So it melted a bit faster. And in the third one, in boiled water, ice cubes melted faster than the other two since its temperature is high. So what is the conclusion that we can come when we observe these changes? Yes, that ice cubes melt quickly in high temperature. How to keep ice cubes for a long period? Ice is the solid form of water. We need ice for various things such as to cool the drinks or as a cooling pad when we get hurt, etc. To keep the ice for a long time, you need a refrigerator. But we can't take a fridge wherever we go. So we are going to discuss what other methods you can follow to keep ice cubes for a long time. You can experiment and see whether they are working. Place dry rot or in Sinhala, liquid on the surface of the ice cubes. You can keep ice cubes under some sawdust or dry rot. Keep in a closed Rigiform box. You can buy them from the Rigiform manufacturers. Have you seen the fishermen storing the fish with ice in a Rigiform box? It is to keep the fish fresh using the ice cubes. Okay, up to now we have discussed about the states of water. As you learned so far, there are three states of water. They are gas, water vapor, liquid, normal water and solid, ice. Let's discuss about the importance of water. Water is an important resource for everyone. Nearly 70% of the world is covered by water. Only 2.5% of it is fresh. We use water for daily work such as drinking, cooking, bathing and washing etc. Animals and other living beings too need water to live. Other than the above mentioned uses, people use water for some other purposes as well. Some of them are agricultural purposes. For example, farming, gardening and fisheries. Used in industries. For example, in manufacturing. To generate power or electricity. Hydropower generation. Hydropower is the power that is generated from moving water such as rivers. Hydropower is a renewable energy source. This means that using a dam or a river to generate electricity doesn't use up any limited resources like coal or gasoline. Now we are going to discuss the problems we have to face when we don't have sufficient water. Can we live without water? No, we can't. So if the water is limited, we will not be able to drink clean fresh water. It will spread diseases, will cause dehydration, that means decreasing of bodily fluids, can cause different climate change on earth 
such as droughts, etc. Water pollution Water pollution is when waste, chemicals or other particles causes a body of water, for example, rivers, oceans or lakes, to become harmful to the fish and animals that need water to survive. Water pollution can disrupt and negatively impact nature's water cycle as well. Sometimes, water pollution can occur through natural causes like volcanoes, algae blooms, animal waste and silt from storms and floods. A lot of pollution comes from human activities. Some human causes include sewage, pesticides and fertilizers from farms, wastewater and chemicals from factories, silt from construction sites and trash from people littering. Some common causes of water pollution are due to human day-to-day -day activities such as washing, bathing, etc. By dumping garbage which gets mixed with water. By releasing waste stages from different oil refineries. By releasing chemicals and fertilizers used in agriculture. Diseases caused by water pollution. One of the most precious and important commodities for life on planet Earth is clean water. For over 1 billion people on the planet, clean water is nearly impossible to get. Dirty, polluted water can make them sick and is especially tough on young children. Some bacteria in water can make people so sick. Some of the diseases are cholera. Cholera is an infectious disease that causes severe watery diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and even death if untreated. It is caused by eating food or drinking water contaminated with bacterium. Diarrhea Diarrhea is characterized by abnormally loose or watery stools. Most cases of diarrhea are due to bacteria, viruses or parasites. Dysentery Dysentery is an intestinal infection that causes severe diarrhea with blood. In some cases, mucus may be found in the stool. This usually lasts for 3 to 7 days. Hepatitis Hepatitis is an inflammation, a kind of irritation or infection of the liver. This mostly caused by poisoned water. It is important to keep and use the water clean. Polluted water causes problems not only for the humans but also for animals too. We use different methods to clean water. Some of them are boiling, adding chlorine, using filters such as charcoal filters and sand filters. It's time to review. Try to answer these questions orally. What are the diseases caused by polluted water? Mention three ways by which water gets polluted. State two ways of keeping ice cubes for a long time. Name four uses of water. State four problems we have to face when we don't have sufficient water. Fun activities to do at home. Create an attractive leaflet on prevent water pollution. That's the end of the lesson. Be healthy and safe. See you soon with another lesson.